What is up everybody? This is Lyle, No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. Coming at you from St. Joseph, Missouri. And let me tell you, we got some snowflakes rocking out here. But uh, I want to kind of piggyback on one of uh, the videos that uh, Travis Kinley with Prime had uh, done a while back about being proactive. So if you haven't checked out his channel, go run over, just type in Travis Kinley Prime, boom. Very motivational kind of a guy. Uh, before I get into that pre, you know, uh, being proactive, I just wanted to talk about me breaking one of my rules. And it's not necessarily a rule, it's more of a guideline. But uh, got a message from my fleet manager early today. Uh, I'd heard the pre-plan kind of coming over and he sent a message saying, I'm sure you probably don't want this one since it goes west to Cheyenne. So I took a look at it, you know what I'm saying? Going to Salt Lake City for the first drop, going to Missoula, Montana for the second drop. It's like, man, I got your back. It's not a rule, it's more of a guideline and I might as well get into that winter action uh, on my own terms uh, than just have it happen to me, so. I'm gonna go ahead and take that load. Uh, there's some time on the load. So, uh, you know, it's not like it needs to get ran real hard, but you know how I do it. I try to run to relax. So I might get out to the Salt Lake City Terminal and be able to chill out there for, you know, 14, 20 hours, depending on how I run. Now let's talk about this being proactive thing. now. That is one thing, and it kind of goes along with asking questions. I did a video about one of my tips to new drivers is ask questions, but I want to talk about a specific example today. And then a couple others maybe, but uh, got out here for delivery. The appointment was at 0800. Got out here about 7.30. Uh, the pre-plan came over, and the pre-plan to pick up where I'm at right now was 2,200 hours. And I was like, man, that's kind of shitty. You know what I'm saying? Like I deliver now, then I gotta go find somewhere to park and then I'm really not gonna be able to sleep. Even, you know, but my hours are gonna be coming back sometime around then and then I'm gonna have to run it out or I'd wanna run it out. So figured, you know what, let me see how early I can get over here to this appointment. Now, most of the time it's not gonna work because they're not gonna answer the phone, but sometimes you get lucky. So I call and uh, say, listen, I have a 10 p.m. appointment. Uh, just wondering how early I could get there. So she looks at her paperwork and she's like, we don't have any 10 p.m. appointments. I was like, well, my thing right here says 2,200 hours. 10 p.m. and she's like oh no I think when I booked that load or when I sent that over instead of using military time I used or whatever like there was some confusion the appointment was actually 10 a.m. which was even better for me so had I not called I'd have probably shut down you know trying to hurry up and get my break in and then show up here at uh, 10 p.m. so glad I was proactive but you know there's always things out here you want to do on your terms now if, obviously if I wanted to relax you know I wouldn't have made that call but you know also thinking about and this one got me today not being proactive so usually you know I'll I'll just proactively on my terms air up my tires if they're getting a look because sometimes in colder weather you know you start losing some uh, tire pressure so I was in a perfect place to get it done yesterday and uh, passed on it you know I was at a flying J just uh, getting some coffee and stuff well this morning when I woke up pressure was a little bit too low so you know, even though you have those little airlines where you can get out there, and, you know, hook it up to your glad hand and all that stuff, that does not work as good as getting it done at the uh, at the fuel pump. 
You know what I'm saying? So, uh, to air up four tires is actually in the dark is actually not that. I mean, it's not hard. It's just not as easy as pulling into a place and then filling it up on your terms rather than waiting around and having to do it when you don't want to do it. Same thing with headlights. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I have the expensive headlights. They're like $80 a bulb. And rather than me being put in a position where I need to put headlights in when I'm out on the road, every other time I come off the road, I put new headlights in. You know what I'm saying? So try to be proactive out here. Uh, that could be, you know, as he mentioned in his video, in case you haven't watched it, if you're a shipper or receiver and you don't know where the check-in place is, ask somebody. You know, I happen to be the only truck here right now, but where they told me to go, I was with my bad knee. And I was having to walk all around God's Green Earth trying to find out where to check in at. Had there been somebody here, I'd have asked. This morning when I was delivering, same thing. I pulled up to a place what looked like it should have been where to check in. Wasn't the place. I made the walk over there. Then saw what the sign on the door said. Went around, found the place where you actually supposed to check in at. Checked in there, walked back to my truck. Don't ask me this, but there's a prime driver that's right behind me. Sees the door I come out of. Then goes and walks to the door. He was on his way to walk to the door that uh, I made the mistake of going to first. And I actually saved him all them steps by telling him, that door over there. You know what I'm saying? So as much as you could do things on your terms and be proactive and all that kind of stuff out here, the better. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I remember when I first came out here, I was at a dock that was pretty tight. I remember stopping, going up to uh, another driver and asking that driver how they would approach that back. You know what I'm saying? Other people have made mistakes before you. If you can learn from peop other people's mistakes, you shorten up that learning curve by quite a bit. So I've mentioned this before, if you could only see five minutes into the future, you'd be the richest person in the world. Now, the only way that you're, the closest you can come to looking into the future is uh, asking people that have already been there. That's why advice from older people is always valuable because they've already made the mistakes. And if you listen, you can cut down on your mistakes. So, Anyway, what else I want to talk about? Um, Prime is in need of some trainers right now. I need to do a video on why you should possibly think about training at Prime. It's not really about money or anything like that, but uh, they are looking for trainers, even though I'm not training right now. Uh, doesn't mean that... Uh, I shouldn't talk about the necessity that Prime has for trainers right now. Anyway, since I'm getting on this load early, probably, hopefully they get this thing loaded fast so I can get some parking. I'm thinking I'm going to park at Grand Island tonight or somewhere out in that area, about 200 miles out, I think it is. go park out there and uh, hit it hard the next couple days. I might take it out further depending on what I think the parking situation is. It's pretty easy to find parking along that I-80 but I might be in no man's land where my hours might kind of run out but we're going to play that by ear. Anyway this trailer I got is a little weird. You know, I'm used to them kind of, you know, trailing a little bit off to the right, but this one is like a little bit more than normal uh, to the right. Attention, a new important message has arrived. 
anyway that's about it just wanted to stop in talking about being proactive in a certain situation where it might help so if you're gonna go to a shipper or receiver and really the good the, the best ones are gonna be like your smaller mom and pop type places not like you know, some of these larger ones like Walmart, obviously, Costco, you're not going to be able to change any appointment times there. But some of these smaller places, give them a call. See how early you can come in. Or, you know, depending on how your hours are going, maybe just show up. You know what I'm saying? See if they'll take you. Anyway, enough about that. I want to thank you for stopping by No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.